In this presentation, we examine the social acceptance of digital technologies in the cemetery, which we refer to as Semtech. To map this area of design and its pitfalls, we first developed a typology of cemetery technologies through a review of examples from around the world. We then evaluated the social acceptance of various types of Semtech through a survey of the Australian population. Overall, our research sheds light on the contentious nature of memorialisation and the technology in the cemetery and highlights challenges for designing what are sometimes referred to as thanatosensitive cemetery technologies. The Death Tech research team that undertook this work shown here is a multidisciplinary group of scholars who research questions at the intersection of death, technology and social change. Cemeteries are widely thought of as places dedicated to remembering the past and therefore backward look rather than forward looking and not open to innovation and change. Nevertheless, cemeteries are themselves a type of technology that has changed and evolved over time. Today, cemeteries are under pressure to make their spaces available for a wider range of publics and purposes than the past. This includes forms of recreation or cultural heritage and these, fact, these are due to a range of factors, as we can see on the screen, including la shortage of land, as well as the maintenance costs associated with ageing cemeteries. Digital technologies, too, play an increasingly prominent role in memorialisation, but their use at cemeteries has been criticised for a perceived lack of sensitivity. We define the term Semtech to refer to digital technologies that are designed to augment the user experience of interacting with a cemetery whether on-site as a visitor or remotely through the internet. To date, there has been little direct academic study of technology in the cemetery, with some few exceptions, such as Nord et al. and Al Akel et al., who involve studies with visitors to cemeteries, interviewing participants in Oslo and Beirut respectively, finding that, the most, that mostly people valued the orderly, quiet, historical and natural qualities of cemetery environments. This suggests a pitfall that needs to be managed in design, the contours of which are mapped in our study. We conducted a comprehensive review of digital technologies focused on cemeteries, out of which we constructed an encyclopedia of Semtech, and we undertook a mixed methods survey to assess the public acceptability of these technologies. Our investigation began with a review of Semtech designs that have been documented in research literature and death care industry publications from a range of sources around the world. These culminated in an encyclopedia of Semtech that includes 72 examples that we made available as a public data set resource that is searchable as a directory that includes an entry for each of these uh, particular cemetery technologies and then their classification according to a range of dimensions analysed within our typology. Using an iterative coding process, the typology was developed through a classification of Semtechs according to four key descriptive dimensions. This included the technical components, target users and development status, though the core dimension of the typology was the application type as shown here on the screen. That is the main functions that these technologies were designed to fulfill. We identified through this coding process 13 primary application types. The types themselves are non-exclusive as specific examples may include multiple applications. As you can see these types included various forms of wayfinding and mapping applications, gravesite, audio-visual types of media, forms of remote access technology, and a range of cemetery augmentation uh, technologies as classified in the typology. Following this, a survey of 1,053 respondents from the Australian population included a mix of open-ended and multi-choice questions. The survey presented descriptions of 13 hypothetical Semtech concepts that were drawn from this typology and asked respondents to rate their feelings on a seven-point scale ranging from very negative to very positive. And following this quantitative survey, using a qualitative metric for respondents to explain their ratings in their own words. Fo following the question prompt, 
Why did you give the answer above? To understand the explanatory survey comments, we conducted a reflexive thematic analysis, again using an inductive approach. The results of our research show that the social acceptance of Semtech varies quite widely depending on a range of factors and particularly the types of technologies that are proposed for these spaces of memorialization. The survey revealed sharp differences in the level of support for various Semtech with mostly positive ratings given to examples including audio guides, funeral webcasting, online memorials and grave tending services. More mixed results were giving, given for Semtech examples of gravesite webcams, gravesite videos, virtual graves, and narrative audio uh, speakers and beacons. Finally, mostly negative responses were given for examples including autobiographical audio, augmented reality avatars, or various location-based games such as historical or ghost games that were proposed. Thus, respondents were less favourable towards technologies that they were thought to intervene in or upset or create new interaction opportunities for people outside of the expectations of a cemetery space. Negative sentiments also uh, unexpectedly um, increased with age. The thematic analysis of comments resulted in the development of further insights of public disagreement about Semtech that we organized, that were organized through coding around four dichotomies. That is whether it facilitates or impedes memorialization, whether it should activate the cemetery space for increased visitation, whether it should animate the deceased, and whether it should be judged on primarily functional or emotional terms. So the study identified four opposing themes that categorize the responses to Semtech concepts, which reflects an idea about death and technology on which respondents expressed divergent views. The first dichotomy of expanding and impeding uh, showed that some respondents agreed that Semtech offered opportunities for further memorialization, while others saw them as impeding what was seen as proper or traditional forms of memorialization. The second dichotomy around public and private forms of Semtech saw some respondents express the view that they should be, that the cemetery should be enjoyable to wider public participation, while others asserted that the cemetery should be a protected space for private grief. The third dichotomy around a lively or restful understanding of Semtech saw some respondents favour technologies that was able to present a de deceased person in some more interactive or higher fidelity audiovisual interactive form uh, type of form, while others felt that the dead should be left in peace and at rest. The fourth dichotomy was one around pragmatic versus effective emotional responses to Semtech, with those favouring a pragmatic approach, understanding or accepting the, the practical possibilities of these technologies, where others felt responding in a more effective register that some of these technologies made them feel uneasy. Based on this analysis, we identified three qualities that characterise the most socially accepted forms of Semtech that can inform our understanding of design implications for the cemetery. These were around familiarity, intimacy and peacefulness. So one, Semtech that extend familiar memorialisation practices rather than creating new forms or unfamiliar forms of interaction for these spaces. Two, Semtech that serve relatives and friends of the deceased in these spaces rather than unknown or wider groups of public audience. And three, Semtech that preserve a more quiet and restful cemetery atmosphere and experience rather than ones that tend to create a more noisy or conspicuous mode of engagement, interaction and activity. In conclusion, this study provides valuable insights for cemetery managers and, and Semtech designers to navigate and address potential controversies as well as possibilities in the development of new cemetery technologies.